Good afternoon, my lovers. I'm back out on the fields. Uh, I've got a signal down here. I'm also out with the horde hunter with the massive coil. It works perfectly okay. Thanks, Cliff. Uh, I've got a signal down here, but I've been talking to my friend about the monster coil and he reckons it's too small. <laughs> I need a bigger one. I'll explain why as I'm digging this here signal. He reckons the reason I'm digging up lots of rubbish near the surface is because the coil's not big enough. If the coil was like massive, and I'm talking massive, uh, instead of one square meter, say four square meters, you'd only get the big lumps of metal and not the little, you know, half a horseshoe and bits of rubbish near the surface. Saying that, that looks like a coin. <laughs> so I've just dug up a few bits of rubbish and this ain't rubbish. <sighs> oh, good day to you, George. Good day. There he is. Got a date on the bottom. I'll let that dry out and I'll get back to you. Yeah, so he reckons the coil that is like um, one and a half times as big as the coil I've got will miss out a lot of the small irony rubbish near the surface. Uh, and then you can go really big with these coils. You can go, I've got a video, I'll, I'll, if, I'll see if I can put it up. If I can, I'll put it in the corner down here somewhere uh, of this, these chaps going out with this huge coil, massive. You know, it's, it's, oh, it must be, well, I don't know the size. I'll let you think, try and guess the size of this coil, but it's huge. <laughs> and obviously you need two people to carry it because I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. But, uh, I just wouldn't be able to do it, it'd be too heavy. So yeah, I'd need an absolutely stonkingly big core. But seeing as I've got the base unit, it should be, shouldn't be such a problem. All I've got to do is save up the money to buy it and all the tubes and all that sort of thing. But yeah, an absolutely massive coil, that's what I need. Yeah, so that's why I've not been using it much lately because every time I find something, unless I'm in really quiet ground, and I've just noticed this field is not quiet at all. <laughs> and the power lines, I get anywhere near the power lines and it starts... You know, um, so yeah. Has that coin dried out yet? Yeah, my friend from Greece is adamant that that's what I need. That the coil I've got, the one metre square coil, is too small. Imagine that, too small. On to the next. Oh, sounds coinish. Oh, where's that peg gone? I got it here. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a buckle. Oh, Victorian buckle. Ugh. Moved away from the road a bit. It was a bit loud. Oh, I can see something. Right there. Oh, it's not a pesky button, is it? That was loud for a... Hold on, let's check. Yeah, that's it. Pesky button. Oh. Let's give it a quick rub on the magic trousers. Uh, nothing. That was really loud for a pesky button. Ugh. Oh, we had this signal that then disappeared. And then I reappeared. It is... A draw pull, I think. I think that's a draw pull. Yeah. Didn't give me a very good signal. Didn't, couldn't even find it with a detector. What does it sound like? Not too bad. I don't know why it disappeared on the detector. It was right near the surface of the clump. Bizarre. Just had a brilliant signal. Ah. Ugh, is it cack? You bugger. It is. It's just some sort of a weird top. It's got a bit of decoration on it. Oh, I think it's a button, is it? Is it a button? Possibly a aluminium button. Ugh. It's a strange signal. It's right up in the top corner. 
it looks like iron. Unless there's iron in the hole as well. Right, we know where it is. Goodbye. <laughs> What's that? Oh, not another one. It's another one. <laughs> I wonder what was in these then. Ah, oh, yeah. It's another one of them strange pots. Let's hope it's full of gold coins. Oh, nothing in this one. Don't smell of, it only smells of earth. Oh, look, there's the impression on the back, it's probably a bit clearer. Uh, it's a D and a L, I think DL, sure it is. Whatever it is, I don't know what, what would have been in there. Lip, probably lip balm on a farm. Possibly lip balm. It's now the next day and I'm back out with the CTX and the 17 inch coil. And I got a lovely signal down here. Hopefully it's not shotty. Oh. Is it a pesky button? It is. It's a pesky button. That's giving me a banging signal. Anything on there? Oh, I've got a decoration. Yeah, lovely starburst with the engine turning around the outside, look. Oh, sunburst. Lovely jubbly. Off and running. Well. Today that is. Oh, twelve thirty could be gold. Is that a bit of dark saw just there. There is. Ah, that looks like a coin. Is it? Oh, it is. It's a coin. Oh, this looks pretty old. Right, I'll give this a rubber dub and I'll get back to you. Oh, I thought I could see a legend around the outside, but you can see tiny flecks of silver on the surface, look. So it is, in fact, a pesky button. You bugger. Oh, I'm back in the King James field. Oh, could be a hammy. Oh, what's that? Is it a tiny pesky button? I'm doing well on the buttons today. Oh, have I got some gold? No, no gold, just a tiny button. Oh, I thought I had it hammered then. Oh, I thought this was going to be another button, but I got a three ringer. Ugh, not going so well today. I've moved fields. I should have stayed where I was. That's why I just had that uh, bullet. And I got a signal right next to it. It's a lot warmer today. A lot warmer. In there, somewhere. Green soil, green soil, dark soil, right there. Well, I suppose it is slightly green. Ah, is it a spendable? <laughs> this day's getting worse. Ah, look, love the impression for a spendable penny. Ugh. Sounds like a coin. Oh, I think I can see it. I think I can see it. Hopefully it's not a, a, hopefully it's a coin and not a, hold on. What's that? I don't believe it. That looks Roman. Let's have a quick nose. Yeah, I think it is. 
<laughs> I was just about to say something. It's a Roman coin, I don't believe it. Oh, it's in mint condition. Oh, look at that. Wow. I've, I don't think I've had a Roman coin off of this here field. I was about to say this is the third day I'm back out. <laughs> Yeah, that is Victory. Is it Victory? V and A X, I think. Is that a D and a D? Wow. Roman coin, yeah. Third day, I was about to say it. Completely blew me away. I saw it, looked down, and I thought, it looks Roman, you know, it looks Roman. Right, let's get my toothbrush on that. Look, you can tell it's the beginning of the day, my water bottle's full up. These water bottles are a dead handy, one litre. This is what you use to make wine. This is the concentrate bottle. Yeah, radiant helmet. Don't fall over. Oh, look at that. Oh, lovely patina. Lovely. He's got like um, a bushy beard, I've got a radiant helmet, pointy chin, a pointy nose. John, who is it? Right, I'm going to have to come back to this here spot with my mega coil. And I'll just have to go over here. It's probably just a single drop, but you never know, there might be a horde of 50,000 of them right here. Wow, I've always avoided this area because there's a bit of junk, you know, buried junk in the field. So I might have to just go over this area a bit harder. Oh God, look at the detail. Right, on to the next. It's right at the end of the field, so it's like two little fields. Oh, I might dig that one. Oh, and I've got the top off. I think it's iron. Might not be, but I think it is. Hmm, I don't know. It's in the middle of the hole, though. Might be next to a piece of iron. What's that? Is that a rock? It is a rock. Iron is not normally in the middle of the hole. It's only around the edge. All them funny shapes on it. Oh, I can see green. That's the impression. Let's hope it's another Roman coin. Oh, that's what it is. It is a bit of rubbish. It's just a bit of plated. Still, could have been something, I suppose. Could have been, might have been silver plated at one point. It's a bit of silver fleck there. Is that all of it? No, there's more in there. Right, I'll get back to you on if it's anything nice. Right, there it is. Whatever it is. battery what's left of a battery might be it's got these funny things at the top it's whatever that is he thinks it's cack though so that's where I've been sitting look I got here unpacked the metal detector took a few steps started swinging and within a few feet right there Roman coin so you always find it near to where you park. Always. You should just park your bike or car and just detect around it. Oh, I just had a massive iron signal. Huge. I'm hoping it's going to be an axe head. You can see it just there, look. 
I had a, a complete axe, not far away from here, a complete axe, even with the wooden handle. Oh, what's that sticking out of it? Oh, God, it's big. I don't think it's an axe. <laughs> it don't want to come out. Right, I have to dig round it. Yeah, a complete axe with the wooden handle. What's the chances of that? Oh, it's it. It's long. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's it's a fire grate. <laughs> a f I think a bit of an old fire grate. Yeah, must be. Right, I won't be taking that home. I just had this signal that was literally 12.02. It was so low that I thought it was 99.9% .9 cag. And it's not, it's, it's decorated. I've got it on macro. So it's got these sort of bumps. So I get rubbed on the magic trousers might improve it a bit. It's just giving it a wash, that's better. But look, what's that with the bumps? Pellets, I suppose you'd call them. It's quite thin on this side. Looks like something else might have been on it. So something that was. But look, just goes to show that not all cack is cack. Right, I've got something in here. Hopefully it's not a shotty. I've been digging up loads of them. Oh, that looks like that. Is it, was that an impression? Oh no! <laughs> ah, what's that? Oh, that could be old. See the little holes? Right, that could be quite old. That could be medieval. Right, I'm going to clean that up a bit. Right, there it is. It looks vaguely familiar. Um, it's either medieval or it's a pocket watch winder. But with those two little holes where the um, pins would have gone through, it makes me think it's probably quite old. That could be medieval, what's that? It's a, almost a thousand years old that I reckon wasn't particularly deep um, I don't know it's either a winder or something really old don't look at me watch six o'clock ah <sighs> oh, yes what a day first signal Roman coin and then that um, other thing but uh, yeah, uh, better day today, better. I've, first couple of days I came out with a big 17 inch coil and the ground's too dry now, you've got to go smaller, smaller coils. Um, I think it helps with ground penetration. So yeah, the big coil, the meter coil on the Lorenz is too small. <laughs> yeah, in order to find um, large metal objects i thought the meter coil would do it but apparently i gotta go bigger much bigger like um one and a half meter coils will find like fist sized lumps and bigger well a hoard that i knew someone relatively recently dug up was a small pot about so big full of um 150 silver and roman denarii so it was only about that big, so you wouldn't want to, you know, inside the pot, you know, if that pot's like that, then inside the pot, it's going to be like that, isn't it? So you want it to be that size and larger. <laughs> you don't want it to be searching too small. Now, because I've got the other box frame coil, I've got the connector between the two coils. So all I would need is two 
two coils of 1.5 meters each and I think they're about 500 euros each so it's about a thousand quid I haven't checked the prices but um, I've you know I've got the base unit and, and I've, since I've been using that long sticky thing I've, I've pretty much worked out how to use it you know to a degree um, but I'm still getting a lot of like bits of iron near the surface when I'm digging down to it it's like usually reasonably shallow so I want to get down around about a meter I think if I can get down about you know three foot to a meter then that whatever it is down there is going to be old now, I pretty much spend all of my money that I make from YouTube on metal detecting equipment you know so the last in the last year I, I earned about uh, 10,000 quid from YouTube no, well not from YouTube I earned about 10,000 quid in total because I sold the gold coin which was a find from metal detecting so I kind of added it in so around about 10 grand last year and most of that has gone on various different coils and metal detectors and all sorts of stuff you should see my house I must have about 30 coils in my house you know, I suppose I could sell the um, the GPX 5000 at some point. I might contact a metal detecting company, you know, retailer, and see if um, they would sell it for me. You know, because I'd, I'd rather do it that way. I don't want to be giving out my address. You know, that can be iffy with all my gear in the house. So. Yeah, I might, I might sell the GPX, or I might keep it. You know, it might come in handy in the future. You never know. You might find some epic discovery, and you, and I, I'll turn around and think, damn, I sold the GPX. So yeah, I'm gonna head off to the pub and show all my friends down there because I've got a lot of friends now. There, you know, loads of people in there. Um, they're all like, oh, oh, what have you found today, Cleggy? More cat. It's mostly cack. <laughs> so I'll show me finds and see what they think of my Roman coin. Woohoo! Cheers!